Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode adventure. Today we're actually going to take a different approach from what I was thinking about doing last time out. I had a little, a little think and a little look at the map and what I'm going to do is head out and get the fuel trailer that we need to take to the township. Now hopefully this is where it all could go wrong. Hopefully I can get the fleet up here. We've given it some upgrades. Now we just need to give it some beans. You should be alright. As long as we avoid that mud, we're all good. So I want to go and get the fuel trailer that we know is out here. And we're going to then fill up, I think. Fill up our own fuel trailer from that and then so I might keep them both there I might take our fuel trailer into Smithfield with me the only thing is we've only only really got the fleet to move anything about with at the minute the GMC is not worth doing anything with we haven't got another truck yet Must be something we can pull ourselves up on here. Perhaps if we put all wheel drive on. Come on. <laughs> Can't even say I'm out of practice. I've been playing so much snow runner. It's now a case of remembering what vehicles have got what upgrades on what series now. Because we've got this going, we've got which series going. <laughs> I also have a, a save running on my console as well. We are snow weathered up to the eyeballs. And they're all running completely different. We've got a hard mode, we've got... Oh, we've not got fuel here. Oh, that's alright, we can uh, hopefully make it. Stick it in high and just hope for the best. Make it to there. Let's get some gas. This is cutting it close. Super close. Forty-four loads. Absolutely loads. Nothing to worry about. Back now. So yeah, we'll 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 see what's left in in this one after we've filled our fuel tanker up. That's what I'm trying to say. Because we're not... I was going to go and get all the service spare parts and try and do the... what you call it, the boathouse. I'm quite sure it is, but... The, uh, the repair one there, the service parts and what have you. But I think the trail up there at the minute still might be a bit of an ask for our Fleet Star. As much as I love the Fleet Star, as much as I have faith in the Fleet Star, I just don't want to risk getting her stuck. Not this early on. So we'll, we'll take this to the town, we'll snag that, that other trailer on the way back through, and then I think we'll Grab the one service spare part that's there. We'll uh, open up, or we'll clear the rock fall that is by the garage. We'll then try and work our way around. There's some wood opposite where the where the wooden bridge needs to be made. We can get that. We cre create that bridge. Then a little way up the road there are some service parts that we can then clear the other rock fall. Not that we really need to travel down that other path, but we'll, we'll clear that rock fall. Hopefully. And then we can pull the uh, Pacific right through. So we can then jump to the, uh, the P-16 
and try and recover our trucks. And then we can try and start doing some of the large haulages here. Thanks for the rain. Always good. Always a pleasure. grab a little bit of fuel as we go past just to show that we are stocked up you never know with me at least when you're going to get stuck on suddenly burn fuel I am a master at the suddenly getting stuck so we've got to go back let's say past the garage we're going to try and just winch tow trailer that we've got parked out the front there. You should be able to get that back. Tree roots and rocks. The rocks on this little trail here would be an absolute nightmare. Especially on the way up. On the way down, a bit of inertia and gravity sort of help you out. But that big one that I just went over, oh, you can get stuck on that so easily and for quite some time sometimes permanently. That mud is so deep. I've had much bigger, much more powerful trucks stuck in there. Winch on. That's not what I want it to be winched onto, is it? Why is that not that me? And Sean at the back. There we go, that's sort of what we want. Pull it around with us. Got to give it a bit of length, because it is going to come to the side. There we go. Following nicely behind. 
Oh, just keep catching up, though. Go, go, keep moving. I'll probably have a little fall now as we go along, but it should be all right. You know, pulling this like this, perhaps we would have been alright going and getting six or four service spare parts. I just, just don't want to risk it. Just do not want to risk it at the minute. Which is against my normal sort of style of play. Hard mode is completely against my normal style of play. I like to risk it, do stuff. Trying to be sensible here. Save a little bit of fuel as long as we can keep going. Go this side for some better ground. That's with the all-wheel drive. Funny for a few feet. It's a, it's a good looking load. That trailer's been dragged about quite a bit now. <laughs> Considering I don't like them, that seems to be uh, getting a lot of attention. getting stuck on the left hand side. So we're gonna come over to the right. Down there we keep getting stuck in there. That's so deep now. Uh, trailer. Told you that what go to one side. It's coming. Easy through the barriers. Sometimes on hard mode, we're going to have a few episodes, probably more than a few, where we're not really delivering anywhere and we're just setting up, getting ready to deliver somewhere. Leave that 
hide there. We'll just reverse up and get that in a second. So, I want to refuel. I'll refuel me. And then we'll come out of the white one, aren't we? So there's 932 in there. I think there needs to be 200 litres left. So we can take a little bit more out. We're not going to be overly picky with it, but we can get a little bit more. There, I think. So we detach. Let's go around town. else I should be taken with me. We've got that small fuel trailer, haven't we, parked up? So we can use that. That's not been delivered yet. Do we need... Let me have a little look. On Smithsville Dam. So we're going here. That's two service parts to clear out. Down here, where the boulders are, thus two service parts, and then down here is wood, but we have wood here, and then there's service parts in that sideboard trailer. I don't think there's anything on that ramp flat there, that's for something else I assume. Up here, there's wood. And that is, I think that's stuff that goes up here, isn't it? So do I even need to take this with me? Is what I'm now wondering. I think we need to take the bricks through. I, again, we may need to have gotten bricks from up at our spot. So we activate our anchor. I don't think I need this trailer. I think I'm going to need it. another time for something else. Again, let's just check what we've got going on here. So... Got there. Pipe dream. Two bricks, metal beams up here. Now I think there's bricks on here. There is. So let's just metal beams to go up there. Um, then after that, it's like not a drill. Instruments of development. That's around here, and then the harbour. We've got essentials, which requires two bricks, two wood planks, and fuel. I think we'd have to come back and get bricks from here, from up there for that. Wood planks and fuel. Then 
winter stores, maintenance trailer and vehicle spare parts, materials order, concrete slabs, concrete slabs. I mean, we've not got these opened yet. Concrete slabs, more burgers. We've got to find white. Yeah, quite a bit. And then a lot of that is then elsewhere. And then most of this, we've just got this to deliver here for that one to be complete. And then that's all. That's all timber. That's that's logging. So for now, I think I'm going to leave that trailer. I've brought it back. We can use it if need be. Um, it'll probably just end up getting sold. Back to cargo, still crate. Yeah, if it can't, oh we've got, oh we've got double bricks. Ooh. Well, that's just changed things. Which one? Which one? Oh, materials order. Which one was it? Uh, essentials. Double bricks. Wood planks. So we need to go get wood planks. I knew we wanted something. Do we have another? Tra Do we have another decent trader about? Oh, we'll take. We'll take this because then, then I can sell it. <laughs> I can get rid of afterwards. So that's what I want. So we're going to try and pull all. We're going to have a loaded. A loaded bed, because I hadn't prepared it. A loaded bed. Trailer. And then we'll winch a trailer as well. I mean, that's it's, going to be quite an ask, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Even if I only bring one... Actually, yeah, I'll take one trailer up to the... Uh, to the tunnel. I'll leave it there and then I'll come back and I'll grab the other trailer. That's going to save us coming through load screens, is what I'm thinking. I guess this is why some people wait until they've got <laughs> bigger and better trucks to, uh, to do this stuff, but I'm doing it my way. My way is a little bit more chaotic and less thought out. Still need to hop, to hop. I don't know why I lost my voice there. Hop to the uh, service area to grab one more of these um, service parts. Well, that should be all right. Anchor is very sturdy, but it'll do.
here we go. That'll do. That's in. in. Yeah, so uh, apologies on a not very productive uh, start to this one. Just gotta try and plan some stuff out, and so because I don't, I don't have like side notes or anything. I just look at the map and think, right, where should we go? Try and remember off what I do know we have. But as it's well established, my memory isn't very good, so I, I get confused as to what we've done, and where we've been, what we have uh, registered. Trying to keep track of the resources. Not always easy. It's going to be a beautiful sunset when it comes. Yeah, gorgeous. I do like the light in the snow one. Absolutely beautiful. See if we can sneak a pint out. Yeah. Attach on the back. All right, let's see how we go. We need to get some more lights on this truck as well. Whenever we can uh, spare the cash, get some extra fog lights on it. Anyone tell you this fleet style is not up to the challenge? Just don't, don't listen to them. It's the little truck that tries, and uh, as someone said on the our live stream the other evening, God does love a tryer. <laughs> and I do love this little truck. But I did promise those guys that we would we would be using some different machinery for this series. And what I use on the uh, on the live stream one. 
so we're not going to be all Fleet Star heavy. We're going to get the White Western out. We are going to get the Pacific out. We may even use, when we get to it, you see there's a, there's a, there's a big Western Star. It's a 6900. I'll try and remember to use that for deliveries. Because in all the times, all the resets, and all the times I've, I've started Snowrunner and, and cleared Michigan, or, or you know, got partway through Michigan, I've never used it. I've always just recovered it, or sorry, repaired it, and left it there. Or just, you know, eventually re just recover it to the, uh, to the garage, or drive it up to the garage store it. But I think it's a four or a five bed trailer, so there's four and five bed deliveries. Should be using them. Sometimes disengaging things and then re-engaging them wakes it up a little bit. That's why I often do it. This is dry enough, we should be able to give it some go now. And we're all transparent because we have the two trailers inside us. There we go. So I will, I think. Yeah, we'll pull them along with us here as well. Let's just do that. That's what we want. We'll bring these up by the garage. And if fuel does become an issue, we'll just have to find a way of bringing some through. Or oh, I think we've got a, got that scout that we collected up, the CK, in the garage here, I believe. We can get that out and just go and grab the the fuel trailer that we're supposed to be deli delivering. So we we'll detach that. Do you remember to just stay out of four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive? 
We've still got four wheels driving us to pull it back. So up here at Wolf Grip, we should be able to get another crate of service parts. That contract or that jobby there? Where's that one? Uh, more fuel. I'll accept that then. I'm presuming they just want fuel delivered from the garage to the farm for that one. Again, it should be something easy enough for us to do. So we want to... Oh, that's doing its thing. We want service parts on the platform. Amazing crane controls. Oh. There we go. Update. <laughs> right, let's go clear the. Uh, let's go clear the road. deliver them to the farm when we've got something a little bit bigger. Uh, 1300 this puts us 2100 so that's that's nice that's nice oh go on stall so next I want to yeah you know, I want to head down and I want to fix the wooden bridge which we should be able to do just fine we can we can either attempt to go across the water. Again, I think we would be able to do that. Or we can just drive around the way that we took the scout when we got the upgrades.
trying to take them as fuel efficiently as possible. Because once we've got down here, we've got to get back up. Now, whenever I watch other people, and they're in high gear, they are going a lot quicker than what I go in high gear. Always, no matter what vehicle. They go much quicker than automatic. Yeah, I see other people, they pass along, go in high gear, and I slow way down. Whether it's just because I always use off-road or snow running gearboxes, but then I'm sure they're using them to have the, the high gear as well. Or maybe I'm watching old content and that's just been nerfed. Yeah, we, we, our fuel rate should be lower. So let's have a look. They don't go here. Oh yeah, a lot lower. I don't like the hud up, so that's why we don't get to really see it much. So... I think with a little bit of all wheel... Some diff. We can get through that. This was supposed to be where we didn't take risks, weren't it? ourselves across. Still probably quicker and safer. Than uh, going around with the way that I drive. trailers on that I don't like. So I think if we turn around, we should be able to winch grab that and then uh, have it come with us. If you're really lucky, you can do it while on the, on the move. But it don't always give you the back to grab, does it? Sometimes it still try and push you from the front. That just brings that round a little bit nicer than trying to uh, pull it down and reverse yourself and make a white pig's ear of it. See if 
that'll attach. No, not close enough. Come on. It's being very piggy there, I think. Oh, we can't sell our trailers. I was thinking we could sell our trailers. We can't sell our trailers, can we? Hard mode. That's because I've been thinking about selling trailers on um, on the stream series. You can't do that here. It doesn't work. You just leave them littered everywhere instead. <laughs> Selling trailers at 50%, I should think, should be a hard mode thing. So that's uh, another 2200 and 200 XP. That's 2300 or 20,000 in the pocket. And how am I for fuel? We're good for fuel. How are we for level? Level 6. We've got a little ways to go. We can get any further. That is out of the way enough. Probably not. Since we've got a track entrance there. We'll huff it somewhere else if need be. We can get a truck down beside it. That's fine. Right. Let's go and get that other trailer of service, uh, service spare parts. And we'll take that and clear the other rock fall. That's blocking the east side. Yeah, man. Oh no, that's not good. Not good at all. Should have a trade, I believe, just around this corner. Or did I drive past it? I'm driven past it, have I? No, it's right. a bit oh it's a bit further on than I thought. Okay. I would say uh, if you're new and you're, you're sort of figuring things out, take the time to try and study your map, try and remember where trailers are. Um, especially oh, if you're on a, if, you're, if you start out, and you're playing on normal, which I would recommend until you get to grips with some things. If you click on your trailers, it'll tell you what content is inside. Um, if not, there is a pretty nifty site called map runner and 
that has a lot of useful information. It has some interactive maps. The little um, you can choose to toggle on points of interest and stuff. And if you click on some of the stuff, it will it will tell you what you need when you need it. I think that's it's not really <laughs> not really usable while recorded. I can't keep coming out and, and clicking on things. We'd lose half our day while I was clicking about. So I use the use the in-game map. But if you want to want to try and do it, so you're not constantly in, in the map and doing stuff. A little bit of time to study the map. I'm not the most logistical of snow runners. See, we could have, you know, just unpacked and then packed them into our trailer. But sometimes that feels like a lot of faff and about. It's a lot of extra steps. Although that, that is quite a nice spot to just abandon the trailer up there. All these trailers that we can't sell, we're never, we're never going to be short the trailer anyway. Might have a day when we collect them all up and leave them in the farmer's field. I think we've got enough <laughs> of extra fuel, that is. Perhaps we should pick the, the trailer up with our crane and just <laughs> drop it off the dam since it's <laughs> absolutely no use. Just drop it in. A bit of littering. Get a bit snaky. Get a bit snaky. going to be boring and safe with this load, they're going to go up past the garage rather than try and cut through the middle track because we'll get stuck and we'll waste fuel and or run out of fuel and we'll be screwed. So we shall uh, do what we can to try and run the slow right down again and stick it all to. I always say when we're streaming, like, doesn't matter how long it takes to get somewhere, it's not that the game isn't a race. But it would be nice <laughs> if on this series we got a bit more done in an hour. And that one day. I said, there's a chap I watch quite frequently, and his series is a, a good few years old now. And he seems, well, he is, no, not he seems, he's super efficient, but he has um, everything planned out and, and what have you. He's got a sheet with it all written on. He's done multiple runs to try and find sort of his most efficient route. That's not me. 
I still want to have the the fun of exploring it and doing it. Like I, say, like I keep saying, doing it my way. Time to get this down there. We should do. The sun has only just come up, so it's probably about five, half past five, I think. Stop and grab some fuel, and I'll quickly check the time. Because we've had a few where we run over a little bit, so. Where are we? Yeah, now it's six o'clock. We should be okay to where we want to get to. And then next time out, we'll definitely have to jump to the Pacific, I think, because I'm going to struggle to get the Fleet Star out and do anything with it in a minute until we're ready to do some other things. We need the White Western, and it'd be nice to get our Kodiak and... Um, there is the, uh, the International... It's like a freight runner or freight liner or something. Never really use it, but we'll probably in hard mode we'll probably need to use it, so we'll probably eventually stick like a fuel tanker or a repair um back on it. And see what we can do with it that way. That could be better than constantly pulling fuel trailers around if we've, we've just got one truck that's just set up the fuel can use that to, if need be, to move around and deliver with. Now this here is an absolute pain in the ass. I'm wondering if maybe I should unpack. Do what we can. We will end up having to get the wing shell, I think, but... That's a good view. <laughs> that might be our thumbnail. Oh, see, look, the little... She just keeps going. She just keeps going. But honestly, the more I use it, the more I love it. It'll die when we get to Alaska, but until then. <laughs> Sorted. Right, the long way. And uh, great work, thank you. That is 1500, 160. That brings us halfway to level 7. 24,000 in the bank, nearly 25 grand. Now will turn the engine off. Handbrake on. And uh, that's it. That's what we're going to do for today. We've probably got an extra 45 minutes, so I will pause it because I'll use that 45 minutes before we get going next time out to try and plan what I'm going to do. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that one. We got a little bit done. We have opened up the roads here in uh, Drummond Island and not in Drummond Island, here in Smithsville Dam. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, next time we'll, we'll get the Pacific through and we'll try and rescue some trucks. Uh, we'll probably see if we can get the two out here. We might be able to do more, but I think two is going to be the big target. Uh, hopefully you'll join us for that. If you've enjoyed this one, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.